we're off to go gathering firewood. And I'm not sure if it's because we actually need more firewood or if it's so we can use our new firewood gathering tote bags. Two for one. Look at those big old things. We're gonna be able to bring back massive amounts of wood for those. We were struggling with this before because we just had like, first we tried our our grocery, yeah, usual grocery we bags. We ruined like three grocery Those things like bags. died on the first trip. And then we tried, I have this orange tub that I keep the second like oil capture tub, big rubber. No, it's a feed tub from uh, like tractor supply. Yeah. That works all right, but you can't carry much. You can't carry, carry very much. Yeah, this is gonna work. This guy, I could carry, I, I could put more and I could carry in here. It doesn't really seem like we're gonna to need to be building fires right now because it's all sunny and warm and wonderful, but in a day or two, it's gonna turn cold and we're probably gonna be parked um, in town at Mike's station for a while w where there's no wood to gather. So we need to bring some with us. There you go, my friend. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> there it is. So we just cut manageable pieces. So for our wood burning stove, the Dwarf 4K, hashtag not sponsored, um, <laughs> we have to cut our pieces of wood eight to 10 inches long. So that's what Mike's going for right now. Oh, I'm failing at my job. This chainsaw was worth every single penny we paid for it. It is really, really good for what we asked of it. With two batteries, we've cut days worth of days worth of wood for us. And then we're gonna be able to uh, just charge our batteries on the sun. We don't have to put gasoline in and we have to worry about that. The other side of that is this place is pristine and really nice and there's other campers. And, uh, it's nice and peaceful and quiet. Yeah, no one wants to hear someone lighting off a chainsaw for 20 minutes out here. You know, that's yeah. like the super annoying thing. Yeah. This thing here we can talk over. Oh man, I love our new bags. Well, this one's going to be way heavier. You want to switch some of that wood into the other one so they're more equal? They're about right. How much did these things cost? Uh, it was $29 for two, or $24, $29, something like that. I'll put a link in the description. Cool. I wasn't giving up. He, he just dropped the bags. We're almost there. <laughs> Ask a linebacker how hard it is to get 30 yards. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, Mahones. You got this. Mike just had a Gouda idea. <laughs> that was really bad. It was Gouda. <laughs> you want some? I want to taste it for sure. Mm, tastes pretty Gouda. <laughs> You're the one who insisted on having a dinette in this bus. And you are just sitting on the couch to eat everything all the time. Habitual. <laughs> Habitual. Somebody has something in my way down here. Mm, that is true. I gotta finish my craft project. Mm -hmm. I love our cheese and thunder puffing. It's awesome sauce. It's very true. He uses it as frequently as he can. Mm -hmm. Look at how unique this knife is though. It's just such a strange unique knife and I love it. Deliciousness.com nice. 
such precision. There you go. You get the big one. On this I love one. your work. Thanks. I go oh, back if I give you the big you. one. Thank you. Nom nom nom. I just realized I never showed you where we're camped here at Stockton Pass because that footage got ruined when the battery for the microphone was dead. So here we are. It's just like rolling hills and a lot of juniper trees, but it's really beautiful. We're pretty happy camped here. This is a spot we'll definitely come back to. Probably not as much in the winter because it's a slightly higher elevation. Do you remember? Was it over 5,000? 5,500. 5,500. And uh, so we'll probably come here in the summertime to get that slightly cooler elevation. Here's where we like to sit. This is our version of front porch sitting. That's right. Up on the Lido deck. Yeah, it's more like high top deck sitting. We actually have this whole immediate area to ourselves right now. There's no one else camped except for if you go farther up the road this way. But I didn't even really know they were there <laughs> until we walked up there this, this, um, this morning earlier today. What do you guys think of Mike's <laughs> new blimp? I mean, Mike's new hobby. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. It's ginormous. What were you thinking? I was thinking about recording awesome song sounds. You were thinking big? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the microphone is only like this big inside of it. It's a little thing. <laughs> what are you now, a sound recordist? Yes, I'm a recordist. Field <laughs> recordist. A field recordist. Yeah, except there's just like all this noise up here on the deck, some ladies talking. And... <laughs> Somebody out here had to make some noise. There is like not another sound out here. There's not a bird. There's not a bug. There, like everything is silent where we're at for some reason. It is kind of strange. Like when there isn't car noises like the one coming here uh -huh. and the ones on the road here and the jets flying overhead. Like you think we're in the middle of nowhere. It's like this place is so remote and I cannot believe how little time in between human noises there is. There's always like, you know, if it's not a jet, it's a car going by. If it's not a car going by, it's people talking over here or a vehicle driving by here. Yeah. Like it's crazy. And then when it finally like quiets down to like really quiet, right? Super quiet. There's not even, there's barely any nature noises. It is just quiet especially when there's no wind it's as silent as silent can be in between all the man-made noises I would love to catch like I get up in the morning and I get out here at, like six in the morning just as the sun's barely breaking the breaking the uh, horizon behind us and oh, expecting like this morning chorus of birds nothing it's nothing. Well, at least the neighbors will be quiet because I'm pretty sure they all just left. Like four or five vehicles just left out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so we're kind of alone now. You guys are not going to believe this. Tell me when you see it. <laughs> it's like a twin. Our twin just arrived over, oops, over this shoulder. <laughs> How crazy is that? It's like the exact same color. I know! <laughs> wow, huh? Here's our twin, up close and personal. There's more places up there, too. Oh, I almost got one of those today. Oh, you're kidding! We almost got one, and it just wasn't the right color. It would have been hilarious, they would have been twins. They would have had that color, definitely, we would have bought it. That's hilarious. That's awesome. It was fluorescent. Man, it looks like we missed a beautiful sunset. Like what's peeking through the branches there is gorgeous. Can we just stay like this for today? The chips are pretty good. The drawers. Yes. Did you paint? Did you do the paintings on this side? I, I did. That's I want to so cover the whole bus. But oh my gosh, yeah. that would be so cute. I love it. Wow! Oh, 
I wouldn't trip. It was like walking into our bus in a way. <laughs> <It> was <laughs> it really homey yeah. in here? I Super love it. Super nice. I like what you did here. Yeah. Right now it's really messy <laughs> because we just took this wall down because we're going to put it here. Oh. Because this just seems to gather stuff all the time. So uh -huh. I was like, why don't we just turn it into a utility closet? So. Even after a year, we're still making... Still adding. It's going to be more storage because it goes all yeah. the way up to the ceiling. The bikes are cool. So much Great. stuff, you know. Plus, our bikes, we, we got to get a platform for the back. Our yeah. little oven, we <laughs> a stove yeah. oven. Yeah, you have a really nice <laughs> oven. We got, well, yeah, this we got in Mexico so. for a couple hundred really? dollars. Oh yeah. my gosh, I love it. So it's propane. This is all pallet wood, so this is all sanded pallet. Wow! I did not guess that as being pallet wood. Yeah. It, you did a really good job sanding it. Well, it takes a little, a little work. So I actually have a couple bikes. Free wood. Yeah, no, it looks great. So walnut pulled this. Oh my god! On my countertop. And yeah, then, it's super um, thick. Wow. Just to uh, turn that light on so you have plenty of light. And I started doing cool. a little artwork on here too because like I love herbs and plants. And then, I um, love this the towel rack, rack with yeah. the natural so like that matches that. the natural this edge. Right. Well, yeah, that's so and cool. But, man, you know, nice. These closets are great. And then full size fridge. And nice. Bathroom. We got, you know, the shower. What we did for ours is we didn't want to spend a thousand bucks on a nature's head. Right. He had a pop-up camper uh -huh. in the past, so he just pulled uh, this cassette that bullet. section out. Yeah, and the shower pan. Wow. So that's also recycled material. That's great. So in this section down here, we have a, the cassette that you just pull out. Uh -huh. It's got a couple gallons. And, and just, just dump it. Yeah. Just dump it. Absolutely. So, uh, here, nice size pantry. Yeah, plenty of space. He just put the diesel heater, which I saw you guys put two yeah, diesel heaters. Yeah. So he hasn't finished. So he just had this another project. Oh, it's just, just going <laughs> in right now. Just going well, in so now. you haven't even got to use it yet. Right. You're going to love it so much. And then the bedroom is pretty spacious. I like that I you like have that. space to walk by your bed we yeah. didn't do that and now i kind of mm, well, you know uh, there's some things you think you you might do differently we so can use our little air conditioner with the amount of solar that we have so oh, that works out great cool. um but yeah it's kind of messy now because we've been on the road for a couple days i like the amount of space back here a lot by the way i should probably introduce you to our new friends this is paul and lisa right yes and uh -huh. the bus is the the big crazy no the crazy crazy green, green bussy and the Bacienda. The Bacienda. crazy green Bacienda. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm glad we you... We feel like we're your twin because we got the no same kidding. same colors. Totally. And you're, you guys yeah. did it first, though, so I guess... Your green is, like, so much like ours. It was, like, really yeah. close. Yeah. Where yeah, did really you get close. your green at? Where that's did you get a, your paint at? That was a... That's a... Uh, Treasure Supply? No, that's... Yeah. What is that? Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware. Rust -Oleum. Ace, okay. like, it's like their version uh, of Rust Oleum oil yeah. base. Okay. And then I just put an uh, automotive clear coat over it. We would have probably got that implement paint at Tractor Supply. Got the John Deere green, right? And did three to one yellow. Nice. It was yeah. really bright, but it faded. It faded. Oh. It faded. I faded on the way to the, yeah. We went down to Mexico oh. and it faded. Wow. And you know, we had to go back and touch it up, so I got bright green spots. Oh no. Yeah. Over the other. <laughs> I don't know why it faded. We didn't put a hardener in it. I didn't know you were supposed to. I don't I know. know you did. We painted it with a brush mm. and a roller. But anyway. Yeah, keep it yeah. simple, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you guys want to go check out our yeah, bus too? We can swap bus stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, sorry, but we had to turn the camera off and just be in the moment with our new friends, which was so much fun. They are super cool <laughs> And we can't believe real. how much we have in common with them. Which, okay, by the way, I meant to say earlier <laughs> that it wasn't just a coincidence that our twin bus just happened to pull in this location where we're at. They actually contacted us and we linked up and got together intentionally yeah totally and uh and we're so glad we did <laughs> yeah totally i'm just so nice and their bus is amazing like uh it was just cool the amount of solar and the amount of batteries they have like oh my god man it was the power of city with that bus it's awesome <laughs> <laughs> i can't get over how much we had in common with them yeah it was, super it was fun. really crazy but... I, it makes me wonder if if this is what it was like with all of our viewers, if we have this much in common with all of our viewers, like we would have a lot of friends out there. Yeah, it would be a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. It was fun. And it's yeah. fun meeting other people that, uh, you know, have gone through the same struggles in, in building a bus and stuff because yeah. you know 
what goes into this and how hard it really yeah. is. So you're you in, immediately have something in common. Yeah, you're immediately a kindred spirit to these people because yeah. you've both been through something that not everybody has been through. And we're just starting out. They've been doing this for over a year now and just having yeah. the time in their life. Yeah. Their stories are awesome. The places yeah. they've gone are amazing. They're super travelers. Yeah, we can't wait to talk to them again tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, we will see you in the morning. For whatever misadventures we have in store. <laughs> so we've had an interesting development in our lives today. As many of you know, Mike is a paramedic on an ambulance, and we just found out this morning that tested positive for COVID. So Mike is not here right now because <laughs> He's at the hospital, hopefully by now getting tested himself, and will that will let us know whether um, or how soon I should get tested as well, which I just got tested like, I don't know, four or five days ago after that whole hike when I had the emergency room visit, and I was okay then, but we'll just see what happens. In the meantime, the show must go on. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so today I start baking starting with pumpkin pie. Okay, I got so caught up in baking that I forgot to turn on the camera, but guess what? There's a pumpkin pie in the oven. Oh, you know what that means. Next up, cranberries. I'm the only person I know who even cooks fresh, real cranberries but they are the bomb. Hello. So, what's the verdict? Negative. Oh, hallelujah. So far, so good. Yeah, they did say though that these do have false negatives, so. Oh, really? that we should avoid smooching and other such things. But does that mean Thanksgiving dinner is on? I think so, okay, as long good. as I'm, you know, <laughs> maintain some relative distancing. Well, guess what? We've got cranberries and little pumpkin pie a -rooney. Oh, delish. And we're keeping the ham in an ice chest overnight because there's no more room in the refrigerator right now. <laughs> Good job remembering the ham, Mahones. Got it. You want some ham too? You will get some. You get Thanksgiving too, Mama Sita. What you doing over there? Well, I am chopping apples for the Waldorf salad for Turkey Day. Delicious. Oh yeah. And. The ham is in the oven. What? Oh. And Lisa is making turkey and stuffing. And I don't know what else. And we've got all kinds of stuff going on here, too. This is going to be awesome. It's going to be a potluck turkey day smorgasbord. It really is. I'm thinking maybe I bought a little too many apples for the Waldorf salad. <laughs> So what you want to do is take the raisins, you get a cup of raisins, and then you pour them in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Look at that. You're not going to eat it. I will too. Like... I'm just kidding. I like raisins. They're all right. Okay. Only, just... only once a year or so? Yeah. Like we're in Waldorf salad. Okay. Ooh, the slap chop. That's good. Only Pampered Chef will do. Excellent. It looks delicious. That looks how delicious. Sure it does. I want to just miss this piece. I want to just eat it for breakfast right now. 
No, you have to wait until Thanksgiving. <laughs> Mama Katie decided to help out with Thanksgiving dinner by taking a bath in the pan drawer. Yeah, she's on drawer duty. Good job. You're just doing an excellent job. Our kasori, which I feel is better in Instapot, is on and it's ready to go. And it's making, what is it making? Sweet potatoes. Things are heating up in the king kitchen. <laughs> That's right. And we have to start our green bean casserole on the stove top right now because there's a huge ham in the oven. Gigantic. Taking over our lives. Mm -hmm. Oh, look what I have for you. The giant onion chunk. Ah! Oh. So good. When we wait, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Paul and Lisa brought this little turkey yeah. over. So delish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're just a month into this adventure and and every day I wake up and I'm just sitting there like, this is the coolest fort ever, man. I have so much to be thankful for. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. oh you're like a kid, you want to make her, please, you guys come in here. I don't know how I can ever transition you're a guest, back please. Please. Normal yeah. Come on in here. This looks awesome. Thank you so on the much. Grind. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Up this one is plate, the, well, here and the other plate mashed right? taters. Oh, yeah. And there's just, you cannot go wrong. It doesn't matter where you start, really. I don't know, brother. Bon Get over the carb loading, it's happening today. It's happening, I just got to say. I'm not even thinking about it. It's gone. I'm going to be bloated and filling all Okay, no guilt. No guilt today. No guilt. No guilt. Right, 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 right. Anybody want to roll? There's rolls. Oh, boy. <laughs> we have a little bit of everything here. What the hell? Oh, my gosh. You guys, there is Waldorf salad and cranberries that I did oh not get out of the fridge. <laughs> we might be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm such a nerd. Oh, did you guys want the bench to put your plates on? You're happy with laps? I'm good right now. You guys yeah, are not better lean over no. because otherwise I'm going to have to put our shirt. Our fancy one, baby. That's a long distance. Yeah. <laughs> Lay back. No. Thank you. This uh, place in Junction City where they had all the beer running around in the city park. That's pretty cool. We went downtown. <laughs> oh. And they were having um, they they businesses kind of set up tables and they were giving free margaritas and mm -hmm. tamales. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Wow. Like, free margaritas. Hey, I want some free tamales. Yeah, yeah. I drink too. Yeah, we're yeah. small. I'm glad we could have you guys over here for Thanksgiving. Like, yeah. Cool. yeah. Nice. That's really nice. So really nice. good. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. That's. The, the dressing is amazing. Well, golly, is we got dishes up there mm -hmm. we hadn't even hit yet. I, I, know. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm going to. like, I shouldn't have eaten so much. I I I so. No. We have pumpkin pie, too. So, you know, there is dessert. Oh, so oh like, we got a I, pumpkin cheesecake, too. Oh, so. oh my sweet, gosh. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're going to be eating for really days. We just had the most exceptional Thanksgiving feast and with friends hanging out all afternoon. And now... Mama Kitty is getting her Thanksgiving Day feast. The ham bone. Are you so happy, Mama Kitty? She's so happy. Oh my God. Hashtag work dad joke ever. <laughs>